Good morning traders, it's 11.40 and I am long 10 contracts the 5.90 April Apple puts from average price of 252. Only risking 12 cents on this trade. Apple is just looking really bearish there. But we know it's a strong stock, so at any given moment, they could go and have a huge reversal. So I'm very cautious when I'm trading this to the short side. All right, so Apple is moving down sharply and my options aren't doing anything. They actually decreased in value. Here's the Apple chart. I just got an order in at 254. This should be up to at least 282 right now. So the volatility is going against me. In my last video, I told you that I was long crude oil and I'm still long. I got a good entry on it. Yesterday it was a big down day, but we had the oil number come out at around 10.30 this morning, and they rallied it up to that 102.60 level right under that, and that's been a hard resistance level that we've yet to overcome. So if we can get over that, I think that my targets will be hit. All right, here's my calls. We're now up 3.20. 87's coming through. We're at a support level here, so probably gonna look to take some profits. 91's. So you, we've seen it continue to go up. I got my fill. I made 390 on that trade. And that was a 10 contract trade. And that only cost me roughly $2,600, actually $2,500 to put that on. So that was about a 30% return on, on my investment. Now the more money you have to invest, the more you're going to make. If you would have purchased 100 contracts instead of the 10, then you would be up $3,900 on that trade. Now, I've been short this frozen concentrated orange juice for a while now. All right, I'm not sure where I left off. The guy just came to deliver my lunch, so I'm going to make this quick. I've been short the frozen orange juice for a while. They came out with a report that said that there's going to be an inactive hurricane season so the prices were driven down that's one of the catalysts that made them go down take a look at this chart 